Now, the Soma Prime is one of those weapons that just keeps coming back to life, right? It refuses to die. It's like a bad smell will not go away. The king is dead, but long live the king, kind of. It's one of those weapons that you wish you could just hold down the trigger and keep going, rounding corners while spraying all over the place. But it used to be one of the best weapons. Then it fell by the wayside as other weapons became more and more powerful. Power creep doesn't exist. <laughs> but now, thanks to the Helmet Chrysalis system and a new Soma Prime specific mod, an augment mod, you might want to consider dusting off your Soma Prime because going full and consuming feck all ammo at the same time while having guaranteed orange crits on your Soma Prime isn't exactly to be laughed at. And that's without a ribbon, by the way. If I had a ribbon, the end result would be much, much better. It would probably be in red crit country. Now, the Soma Prime is a crit based slash weapon, which is ideal. And its new mod is called the Hata Satya, which you can get off the Entrati Syndicate or off Father to be more precise, or by a rank up reward, you can choose it, which will increase your crit chance by 1.2% for every bullet that hits home. Multi-shot also and punch through also increases the stacks of this augment faster. So at a maxed out buff from this mod, you will have a 500% bonus crit chance on your screen. And when you add that to whatever crit mods you have equipped, I guess you could call it happy days. Now, when you reload, that crit chance buff will reset. So the longer you shoot, the more you hit home, the higher the buff gets. But as soon as you decide to reload or you run out of ammo in the magazine, you lose the buff. It is also worth noting that if you do a quick melee attack while still using the Soma while it is active, then that quick melee attack will also reset the crit buff that you had from the augment mod. This means you need a way to keep shooting for as long as bloody possible. 200 rounds in the Soma Prime's magazine isn't exactly going to cut it, but you don't want to have to mod for extra magazine capacity. You need more, basically. You want more bullets. That's where the Energized Munitions ability from the Helmet Chrysalis system comes into play. 75% ammo efficiency while it is active, while you have that ability turned on, which means you will consume one bullet out of every four shots meaning you can keep shooting and shooting and scaling and scaling that crit buff up to its maximum potential long before you ever have to reload. Now this is it in action with my Eclipse Mirage and Hall of Mirrors and it is very very effective and if you wanted to boost I guess those crit colors or those crit potential even further you could have the Vigilante mods on your Sentinel which will give you a much better outcome but while showing all of this off now I can't hide the fact that this is a very, and I mean a very, very niche setup to make for just one weapon, right? To go through all of this bother just to make one weapon kind of better than it used to be. And someone's probably already said, why go through all of that bother when you could just use a different weapon without all the fuss and get the same result? That's up to you. I know some of you really enjoy assault rifles and especially the Soma Prime. It used to be the go-to gun for so many players in this game, but this is how to get the most out of it with this mod equipped right now. The helmet ability isn't expensive to put on whatever Warframe you want to put it on, but Warframes that will boost your damage output, your weapon damage output, like Mirage, Rhino and so on, are definitely the best options. Now, this is the build that I used for this footage. As you can see, I have no Riven equipped, and the issue you might have when deciding whether or not to use this augment is what mod do you drop out of your current build, especially if you have a Riven already equipped? That decision is up to you, right? I'm not going to decide for you, but let me know what you think of the mod, and as always, thanks very much for watching.